Hello guys. So today I want to ask you something. Oh, hold on, I'm just going to prepare something for my grandma. Um, just going to leave that on. I hope it doesn't burn while I'm talking and leave it. I want to say thank you to all of you subscribers and supporters. It really means a lot. Uh, I also want to say for those of you who are viewing, uh, who's that? Coralio. For those of you who are viewing and not subscribing, it would, will really mean a lot if you can subscribe because 80% of the views that I have are not subscribed. So, um, not sure good guys here. So we wait for him to go because he's going to say not sure good a lot of times now. So not sure good means garlic. I'm making a series about that then. There he is. Uh-huh. Oh, I hope he doesn't. Look, I have to show you this. Hold on. Hello, there he is. So just like him, he's selling netshinkurt. Netshinkurt means garlic. So there are lots of vendors like this. Uh, that pass by the neighborhoods asking, you know, calling out natural gourd, which means garlic, and then they sell garlic. There are people also who are going around say, Guralo, and he is buying things from you. Oh, he's coming, I think. They're buying things from you, like, um, he's coming. Wait, one of them is coming. So there's Guralo, there's Luich, there is Suf. There's so many things. So Guralo is a guy who sells, um, metal no who buys metals there wait let me just turn there you see those guys so those guys are sell buying actually not selling but buying uh, things like um metal uh, things like shoes that are used things like this they buy and they take it to mercato and they get it they how do you say they recycle it and sell it there are also guys who are called, who, who calls out, Luet, Luet. And those are guys who are coming around with like new stuff, like buckets, glasses, plates. And then they'll come to your house. And if you have old clothes like this, for example, that you want to, you don't want, he will take the clothes and give you a bucket or something, whatever you want, you can choose. And um, they will also recycle it and sell it back. So there are lots of uh, these type of um, these type of jobs that I'm actually doing a video about. So it will come out very soon. I am talking about them now because this guy just came and he is still like you know the the people from inside came out and now I think that he's waiting for his money. So he comes around and you don't even need to go to the market. You know like. Suf comes to your house, mm, you know, Dave comes to your house, garlic comes to your house, shunkur, like onions come to your house, so lots of things come to your house. See? Like, wait, he's still waiting for the money. Anyways, uh, I wanted to talk about something else and then these guys come and, you know, I had to go with the flow. So the flow is 80% of my viewers are not subscribed and I really, 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 really would like you to subscribe because it makes a lot of difference and it will help me a lot. Oh my God, I think I'm burning the food. Ah! Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yep, I burned the food. Yep, I burned the food. Oh man. There you go. Oh. And we just put some water. Okay, maybe let me put the fire a bit down. I have burned it a little bit. Okay, too much distraction. Okay, back to back to what I was talking about. Back to the 80 
back to the 80%. So 80% of the people are not subscribed. Please do subscribe because it really makes a difference on getting my channel to get bigger. And the bigger it gets, the more people get to see it and the more information that we put out. And it's also really great for me that I can continue my work uh, doing what I do right now because the more subscribers there is, uh, the more YouTube algorithms show it to more people. And I can actually go to sponsors and ask for a sponsor because uh, I, if I'm completely broke, then I can keep traveling. So do subscribe. It means a lot and it helps a lot. And I will take you to this video. This video, uh, lots of people requested. As you can see, my hair I have no shape. This is the haircut that I got in Hammer. Uh, it's beautiful. I love it. I have not touched it since they cut my hair in a hammer and I actually need to brush my hair. Anyways, um, so this video is about like, you know, how you get, I got my hair done with Cassile and lots of people are like, oh my God, how did you take it off? So I actually did make a video about it. Unfortunately, since I didn't have a lot of storage while I was there, I actually had to delete a lot of footages. So I'll just show you what I have and how I took it out and it's here. So I hope you enjoy it and yeah. Oh, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Oh my God, the fire. I'm super excited uh, that I get to shower today and change this clothes because I've been wearing this for the last five days and I have not showered or anything. So it's going to be great. I am very looking forward to that. I am starting to smell. I didn't know how they were keeping themselves, you know, all their life without washing. But they use this casile and some other thing to not smell because they don't smell. The only thing that you would smell maybe is the casile with the butter when it's fresh. If it's not fresh, like mine is fresh, so it smells like I smell like goat. But <laughs> when it's not fresh, it's fine. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to go and wash this off and see how the, if it comes off. If not, I'm going to have to go to the hairdresser and yeah, I've been in their shoes. I've lived a little bit. I mean, I, I was sleeping in my house, but I lived a little, a few days of what the, you know, beauty process is. Not really, but you know, the not washing part only, but so I've been in the shower for like half an hour, but it's still going. What half an hour? Like an hour with hot water and I'm just putting with my hair. My hair is curls, look nice. And I am completely red. Like I am a different shades of brown. Yeah, let's keep going and see how long it takes me to get this out. Things we do for the culture. Things we do for the culture. Oh my god. My hair is also falling out. But it's okay. Things we do for the culture. I'm gonna go back to the shower and try to get this off. Okay, I would like to announce after two hours and three soaps later. I finished the soap as well. So I finished the soap like this. One and two of these and I am still red let me just show you my foot just so you have an idea this is how red I am but I have washed it multiple times I'm just putting my legs up here so you can see it but you see it's like it's stuck it's stuck because of the butter thing and it's stuck it's this 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 like <laughs> Like, <laughs> I'm starting to see uh, soap color, so I'm happy about that. The hair that was cut in the front. Anyway, so let me continue my washing and see how it goes. Okay, so four soaps and three hours later, I'm still like... Sticky. So I'm starting to think this is not butter, but um, animal fat. Because, you know, 
even the smell is like an animal fat, not like a goat. But I was like, they were like, no, no, it's, you know, it's butter. So I'm like, okay, maybe it could be, you know, an aged goat butter. So maybe that's why it smells like this. But I keep trying and, you know, when butter touches hot water, it just whoo, goes away. But this thicks, like it's thickening. It's not going away. Like, what is this? Like, look at this. It's like, see? Just do this with this one. It's like, whoa. Look at this. It's just sticky. Like, I've been in there for like hours. I'm still like, whoa! Anyways, I think I'm just gonna go out and buy a shampoo. For now, just leave it like this, put a shash, a headband on my head, and go out and buy a shampoo and try with a shampoo. Because, like, I was washing myself with a towel. Let me just show you what the towel looks like. So this is the towel I used to wash myself. Look at it. It was like, it was this, now it's this. And then if I keep going, I still get this. So I'm gonna go out to the market and look for other solutions because what I'm doing is not working. So, but since they are used to these type of things, I mean, the women, I understand now why they don't wash because damn, like you can't, you don't have this much water, first of all. I mean, they don't wash because of the culture, but it's a good thing that they don't have to wash because trying to take this out, it's, oh, oh my God. So after the redness go away and I washed my hair, there's this thing. So this is what happens when I touch my hair. It's shiny and it's black. The Casilli actually might have some type of power of cleansing or something because these uh, women there, they're very, you know, they're very clean besides the water or whatever, but they're super clean. They don't smell. And the Casilli actually mixed, they have like a very beautiful skin. So that was, you know, like really amazing to know as well. I want to say to Paradise Lodge staff, I would like to give my deepest and sincere apology for leaving that bathroom looking like hell because I'm imagining the person who has to clean that has to go, oh my God, that was a mess. I left a huge mess. So I would like to apologize to them. And thank you for treating me super nice. I didn't feel like I was in a hotel or lodge or whatever. I felt like I was in my own house. So that takes because of the staff and, you know, the whole system that this Paradise Lodge uh, have put together. So I want to thank you for making me feel like I was at home. I hope you liked this video and learned something new today. And subscribe, like, share and comment to my YouTube channel. And see you on the next one. Bye.